like I was pretty excited about it. You know, you go into these drafts every year with, uh, you know, probably 20 guys that you kind of have targeted, and you end up, you know, generally you're going to end up getting getting a good portion of them, but not every pick. And I felt like every pick was someone that we had targeted um, within that group. And it, look, it didn't fall perfectly for us, but it kind of did uh, in a lot of ways. So real excited about the group. Uh, I thought that um, you know we had a good rookie mini camp and saw some good things and so look I'm optimistic. Talk about just Foster Morrow, maybe the, the genesis yeah. of it, bringing him in and finding the diagnosis and then obviously signing him after the fact. Just where he is and how you all feel about it all. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, you know we brought him in because he's a good player and and uh, you know a versatile, well-rounded tight end. The fact that he's from New Orleans and, and has a history you know, at LSU and here really had nothing to do with our interest in him. Um, and, you know, that, that was, uh, um, man, that's emotional, you know, to, to come take a physical and, and discover something that is unexpected. I know that's tough on him and his family, and yet they, they handle it so beautifully. And, and uh, you know, the great news is, is that the prognosis is good and, and even the treatment uh, protocol that he's going to be under is going to allow him to, you know, do some things in this, um, in this off season and hopefully play uh, in the fall. So when, when do you think he'll be able to do everything he needs to do, Nick? Um, well, I, look, that's dependent upon, you know, the doctor's schedule, but from what I understand right now is that he'll be, you know, out on the field and participating in, in everything that um, that we that we do, subject to his you know his treatment schedule. Is this is this like a, a testing thing that he's constantly undergoing things, or is all of that over? Yeah, I, look, I think that's those are questions for him. Um, you know, I, I, it's not really for me to disclose. You know, his his uh, his treatment plan. How incredible is it that we're even able to talk about this that he's able to yeah. play after? Yeah, pretty exciting, really. Um, you know, because when you hear, you know, when you when you hear the diagnosis and you immediately think, you know, a, you know, his well-being, uh, football becomes secondary, and then as it goes along, and and you know, you, you get good news and you hear up optimism, and um, it's just that that part of it's really exciting. What you say about the medical staff? I mean, Nick Fairley, John Dornbos, Boss Monroe. I know that there was another. I mean, yeah. Look. Yeah. Uh, there's some you don't even know that that and you know that's a credit to to John Amos and all of our uh, team doctors and trainers that that uh, they've been you know pretty diligent and and uh, and they found some things that that others didn't and and uh, yeah I, you know I can't say enough about about the medical team and and uh, the job that they do for us um, on a daily basis. Like to take advantage of, uh, or I mean, uh, eliminate any must before a draft. Yeah. The way things happen with your defensive line this offseason, <clears throat> let some guys go in free agency, and then it felt like yeah, we, there I, were some holes, and then yeah. first two picks in the draft. I mean, was there almost a, you guys liked the depth in the draft enough? You felt like you were going to be able to address that in the draft? Or how, how did that Well, happen? look, we wanted, we wanted to keep some of those guys, so yeah. it wasn't really a matter of letting them go. It was, you know, they made they made their choices, and, and look, I understand that that they deem that to be best for them and their situation, their families, and that happens sometimes. And so we had to respond to that, and I feel like the response has been pretty good. But, you know, not wanting to sort of be forced into a position, did, did you feel good you were going to be able to add to the defensive line? The um, draft, or, or well, I, look, I, I think we that? felt like there were some players in the draft that uh, uh, could help us. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, there were some targets that we had, and, and look, we got, we got a couple of those targets, so... Uh, it worked out, but you, you know you don't always expect that. You hope for it, but you don't expect it. And what do you like so much about Brzee? When you get yeah, there? I just like big, athletic. You know, um, he's 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 a great teammate. I saw all the things that that you know we look for. He he has, and and uh, you know I think durability's been an, a bit of an issue, but but uh, I think. Yeah, I think we feel good about that area. I saw you walked up with Garrett Hartley. Do you, I mean, this event kind of lets you see people you haven't yeah. seen in a long time. I guess, one, how was your golf game? And then, two, do you like this because of the people you get to see? Yeah, oh, my golf game's stellar. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I, you know, I just miss Sean being here because it's usually a quick hundred that I can get from him. Um, yeah, look, I, I love this event because of just what, exactly what you said. It's not really the golf. Or, it's just getting to see people that uh, uh, you haven't seen for a while and, and check in on them, and, and uh, that's the best part about it. How confident are you in Todd Grantham's ability to mesh this defensive line with yeah. rookies and veterans? Real confident. I mean, Todd's a, a, a fantastic football coach, and um, we've known Todd for a long, long time and, and actually had some opportunities in the past that we thought he was going to be on our staff and, and it didn't quite work out, but yeah, he's fantastic. Did you get to see anything out of him in the rookie camp Yeah, already? absolutely. We, you know, we saw him, I saw him at work, and, and uh, it's as, as good as we expected. Do you think that you made like a significant leap forward in the offseason? Well, you know, I don't know. That, you know, we go in the offseason with this list of things that we want to get accomplished, and, and I felt like we accomplished the majority of them. And then, you know, it's, it's wait and see. It's like these drafts, you know. The, look, you can feel good about your draft. You, you see all these draft grades, but let's just be honest. The, the, the draft is success or failure is just based upon the performance of the players and so um, we got to put them in a position to be successful and I think our coaches will do that and we'll do that and we'll see how it turns out. How about Michael Thomas if I could ask you about him? Do you, yeah. do you feel like he's going to, Yeah. What, what I know maybe 2019 might be a high, a high bar to jump but do you think he can he can be that 80, 90, 100 catch Oh guy yeah, absolutely he can be. Yeah, absolutely he can be. Uh, we just got to get him healthy, and, and he's you know he's worked so hard at that um, over the last you know two or three years, and, and look the results haven't been as good as what we had all hoped, but it's not because of a lack of effort or desire by him, that's for sure. Dennis mentioned he like had hardware removed from from his foot recently. I mean that was the protocol from his surgery from yeah. last November. Yeah, I think everything's uh, you know yeah. pretty much according to plan so far, and. And, uh, you know, I feel very, very positive about it. What do you like about Kendra Miller, even though you can't see him during the rookie minicamp participating? Yeah, look, he's just a talented, talented back. Uh, you know, another guy that's, you know, a great teammate, um, good team guy, you know, it, it adds to the room. I like, you know, we like his personality and just like the way he's going to fit. And look, he's a big, strong back and, and uh, can't have enough of those. Mickey, was it a priority to get another young developmental quarterback in the system, or Jake Painter himself stood out? Yeah, I, I think for us it's it's twofold. It's yeah, you always would like to have you know a young guy um, that you can develop, and then we just love the player. You know, we had him in for a thirty visit, and and um, he's got a lot of qualities that that we we value. So um, I thought he was off to a good start this weekend as well. A.T. Perry himself mentioned that there was some character stuff that kind of forced his tumble down the board. Obviously stuff that y'all feel pretty comfortable about. What did you like about him? Yeah, uh, look, he's, he's a big, strong, uh, you know, guy that uses his body well, is very productive. And so, you know, I don't know that we had any real concerns about, you know, makeup and character. Um, yeah, so... I think we were really pleased to get him where we got him, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay? Thank you thank very you much. Good, thank you guys. Thank you, appreciate it. Have a good day. I think that Sean Payton's $100 bite's going to pop up that's, somewhere. That's going to yeah. happen. <laughs> I yeah. specifically put that in there for him. <laughs>